Before you even start your YouTube channel, you need to have a couple elements in place because if you don't, you'll find that your channel growth will stall. And when this happens, it's really hard to get your momentum going again even if you're producing a ton of videos. So today I'm gonna review the three core pillars that we teach every one of our clients before they even start their YouTube channels. And even if your channel growth has stalled a little bit, I think today's training is gonna help. Let's get started, I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the foundations that every successful YouTube channel needs to have. Because if you're like most entrepreneurs, you're excited about YouTube, you want to create videos that develop an audience and you think to yourself, you know, I want to make a video about X or I want to make a video about Y. So you start doing it. Maybe you even have a little success, but after a while, you start running out of ideas. You start thinking that there's nothing left for you to make videos on and that leads to burnout, which could cause the collapse of your channel. We want to avoid that. While so many experts out there are encouraging you to just get started or press the record button, I'm actually gonna encourage you to stop for a moment, get out a Google document or a sheet of paper and actually build a YouTube channel strategy that will not only help direct your focus today, but it will guide the channel's growth for years to come. Now, this is a really big topic, but we're gonna break it down into three simple components that you can work through right now while you're watching this video. Number one is your YouTube channel name. I want you to really think about a name that communicates what you do to the audience who's going to find you. The easy thing to do is I'm gonna name my channel after my business. This is not a great idea. You've gotta remember that your YouTube channel is not your business. It's an extension of your business. A great example is Matt Blatt's car dealerships. This is one of our clients that owns six different car lots on the East Coast. And when he came to me, his channel was called Matt Blatt's Car Dealerships. But here's the thing, no one's really interested in a car dealership until they're ready to buy a car. And I don't even wanna get into all the emotional feelings that come when I hear car dealership. So we changed the channel name to Car Buying Tips where we could attract a wider audience while still serving his customer base. The other default is I'm gonna name my channel after myself. Also, not always a really great idea, unless you're John Tesh, because John Tesh is the man. Now, the reason that your channel name is so important because every single video on YouTube gives the viewer three options. They see a thumbnail, they see a title, and they see a channel name. And even though it happens in a split second, the channel name adds context to the video, which causes the viewer to pick one video over another. Here's an example. Let's say a viewer is searching for a video on gut health. So they go to YouTube and they see a couple different options. One video is called How to Improve My Gut Health, but it's by a creator named Johnny Lingo, a really cool, up-to-date, fun YouTuber guy. But then there's another video underneath it called How to Improve My Gut Health. And this one is by Dr. Bill Smith, which adds tons of credibility to the video and will encourage the right viewers to click on your name. So before you even start a YouTube channel, I want you to discuss what names you could go with and think beyond names and titles. You could even go with Dr. Bill Smith, the gut health expert. So take a moment right now and brainstorm some ideas of a channel name that would work for you. You can even post them in the comments. I would love to hear what you're working on. That brings us to point number two. But first, coffee. Your channel value statement. Here's a term you've probably never heard before, but it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. See, your channel value statement is a short sentence that summarizes the value that your channel brings to the table. Your channel value statement should be 10 words or less, and the words should be posted on your YouTube channel banner. And you may even wanna say your channel value statement in your videos especially if you're new. I know a lot of the trend right now is to not ask for subscribers and to not say your name. 
And, and there's some value in that. But if you have a business and you're trying to get customers, you, you definitely want to say, hey, I'm Owen Video and I help seven figure entrepreneurs scale on YouTube or whatever your value statement is. The value statement is designed to create a framework from which your content strategy flows. It tells the viewers what types of videos they can expect to see on your channel. Your channel value statement also helps you know what videos you should not publish on the channel. I like to think of the value statement as the bumpers at the bowling alley. We give our clients a couple different templates to help them think about their channel value statement. It's not important that you follow this template to a T, but it helps get the wheels moving. Let's take a look at template example number one. I help X achieve Y so they can finally Z. So if you're a chiropractor, you might say something like, I help busy moms stay vibrant so they can raise their kids with energy. That's just an example. But take a moment right now and jot out a value statement that follows the template of I help X achieve Y so they can finally experience Z. Don't worry about keeping it all word for word, right? Just do your best as if you were speaking directly to that demographic. Let's take a look at a second value statement template, one that's very popular right now, and that is I help X achieve A, B, and C. And this template allows you to get in the name of your demographic, but also the, the three big things that they're really looking for. So if you're a business coach, you might say something like, I help entrepreneurs build websites, get leads, and close sales. Take a look at the three channel banners that you see on your screen now. These were picked randomly from my client base just to sort of show you how the channel value statement appears on your channel. Notice Karen Cars, how she teaches YouTube to real estate agents, and she very clearly posts what she does there. Take a look at Connie Carlson in the middle who really struggled with her value statement at first because we weren't sure if we should focus on her town or the biggest city next to her town. And you can tell what we chose just by looking at her channel banner. And then of course, my man Bradley Vinson who just closed a major brand deal. Bradley Vinson keeps it really very clear that he does pro level graphics that you can make on your own. So before you even start your YouTube channel, create a framework with a value statement and try to keep it under 10 words. Now that you have your channel name and your channel value statement, it's time for you to create your video content strategy. And all of this should be written down before you ever upload a video. And I know that's tough because I know there's videos that you want to do, but by doing this groundwork, you're actually setting yourself up for years of success. So let's take a look at how the algorithm works. What you're looking at right now is a picture of my friend, Christina Smallhorn. She's a real estate agent. She's fantastic on YouTube. And I'm watching her main video here in the big finder, but look over on the right hand side of the, this is how the YouTube algorithm work. I want you guys to hear this. This is key. These videos will play as soon as the viewer is done watching the main video and YouTube selects which videos to put there based on titles that are similar to the video that the viewer is watching currently. The first place they look is your channel. What that means is that you need a series of videos that are all on the same topic. Go deep on a topic, preferably a major keyword for your industry. The second is the recommended video section, and this is where 90% of all YouTube views come from. In order to be found in this section, you either need to already be in the viewer's watch history, or you need to have videos of related topics. So to be found in the top circle, you need to go deep on topic A, but to be found in the second red circle, you need to have another content silo that goes deep on topics B, C, and D. Think of it like this. Your channel name and your channel value statement are like the tabletop of your content strategy on which you can build a great channel. But the legs, the four legs that hold that table up are your top four silos or playlists, right? You're going to go deep on given topics. So what I want you to do right now is pick the four big topics that you want to be known for. If you're Dr. Bill Smith, it might be gut health, sleep, exercise, and spinal health. And then you're going to want to create at least 10 titles in each of those four categories. And that becomes your video content plan 
So now you're ready to start making videos and growing the channel you've always wanted to grow. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna cover content strategy in a little bit more depth, and I would highly suggest that you watch that video now while all of this is fresh in your mind. So we've put it up on the screen. All you have to do is tap it. I'm Owen, and I'll see you there.